welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed my last vlog, which was of yesterday. But today is Saturday and we are sorting the garden out today. And I have my husband Josh helping me as well. So you'll probably see sneak peeks of him if he lets me. Um, but I really hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you do. And let's get into the day. Na, 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 na. It's time to tackle the garden. How do you feel, babe? Hey, I wish you could see yourself Just sitting there on my chair I'm staring at you You don't even notice Should have told you straight away You don't have to be afraid Okay, so it's been an hour since we started the garden and we got lots of progress. Josh has finished the shed, which is great. So it's been swept out and put in there. This is the current state of the garden. <laughs> so the plan is we need to clean some bits up. So this is all the guinea pig stuff. So this was their two cages and they're two lofts so we're going to throw two away so we're going to throw one bottom bit away and one loft away because they don't need both because obviously they're together so yeah we've made some really good progress um so yeah i'll update you as we go these i'm going to empty out uh, just watching for poo these the plan is to completely empty them out so that they're empty and can be moved with us because obviously full of soil they're way too heavy so we're going to tidy all of this up, pop all of this to one side so that it can just be moved. This we're going to keep as it is, but this we're going to completely empty them all out. So after this, once this is done, my next task is to sort the spare room because the spare room at the minute has got a lot of stuff dumped in it and I'm having surgery soon in a week. So my mum is coming to stay to help look after me whilst Josh works. So she's gonna be staying in a spare room, which means we need to clear it out so that it's livable, because at the minute it's just a dumping ground. So yeah, lots of stuff to do, but we're getting there. So the next task is Josh is just cleaning, which I uh, started off. So just cleaning all this stuff so we can put it in and it's like clean and tidy and we can just pack it away when we move. Um, obviously that's the guinea pig carrier so we need that clean for when we move as well and I am loading up the shed so I'm going to set my camera up and do a cheeky little time lapse scones that I made yesterday or scones however you want to say it um Josh is out with a friend and I'd imagine that it's going to be a while before I can have some dinner so scones it is or scones it is <laughs> do you know I actually had this conversation with my mum the other day because my husband Josh says scone. I've always said scone. Josh's family also scone. My family also scone. But apparently scone is a northern thing. And I have never been to the north. I've never... I don't know. I don't think any of my family live in the north. So I have not got a clue why we say it the northern way. I really don't know, but... I know that I have said it like that for as long as I can remember. 
So, and my parents do as well. So I have no idea why we say it like that, but we do. <laughs> there must be a generation. There must be a generational thing. There must have been some time back in the day where a relative of mine was from the north and said scone. And now we all say scone. I don't know. I don't really know the right, correct words or anything. But it just, it was interesting to find that out. Um, but yeah, just fun little chat. Another great chat that's been going on is the village that we live in is a golf village. And so we have this lovely golf course, which is supposedly very popular. And it's part of the reason most people who have bought their houses here have bought their houses because it's a very nice golf course. La 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 la. But it's been shut down and all the residents have been kicking off about it. Um, loads of people have sold their houses because of it and have moved out the area. And this is the thing is, you know, if people used it more, it wouldn't have shut down. Um, but also, um, people have moved into the area because of the quality of the golf course. And if people, now they've sold it and they build more houses, now they've sold it and they're going to build more houses on it obviously that's going to reduce the quality of the houses around the golf course and i mean there are some insane houses around the golf course like incredible houses because of the fact that they're around a very popular golf course so all of those houses are now going to have be be surrounded by houses and the quality and the price of the houses is going to go down so yeah our facebook page has been very lit the last few days <laughs> because of all of the drama and uh this is quite funny a nursery has is being built there and they've named the nursery the uh little putters so <laughs> the village are all kicking off because not only have they got rid of their beloved golf course but they've also put a nursery there and called it little putters so they feel like everyone's taking the mick but uh that is that is one of the things i love about living in a village is it's very like there's lots of drama on the community page you know um and i'm totally one of those people that gets up every morning and reads all the posts <laughs> anyway it's scone time or scone time whatever you want to say so i'm just having dinner at the end of my day i've got some lasagna which i have homemade and then I've got some salad, which is just literally some lettuce leaves, cucumber and some house dressing. And then some garlic bread slices. Good morning, everyone. Well, I don't know what the time is actually. What time is it? Good afternoon, everyone. It's almost half past 12. We've had a super chill morning. We've now just both got up and got dressed and showered. And we're going to start the spare room. And the task today is this. I'm gonna just set it up ready for her today because it means that it's done. I don't have to think about it or worry about it. We can just clean the room completely. Josh can work in here throughout the week and we can just leave it as it is. So that's the plan for today. And the other thing is downstairs. So we, so all the washing that I hung out yesterday, I ended up having to bring down because it was freezing cold outside and it was still soaking wet and it wasn't going to dry. So I've just hung it up in here last night. Josh and I brought it in before we went to bed and it's now all completely dry. So I'm going to pack all of this away, pack these away, put them away. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the task for today as well is just to tidy the living room, tidy the guinea pigs just kind of make the room less crazy um, and sort the kitchen as well because this is what the kitchen is like from last night. I made cookies late last night for Josh and I um, and I've still got cookie dough left in the fridge here so we can have some cookies later as well which is exciting. But yeah so this is the situation. I've got a couple of lasagnas out for dinner tonight so yeah this is what we're gonna do so i'm gonna i'm gonna go back to bed and read my book until josh is ready and then we'll start
subscribe down below if you did and I'll see you in another one. Bye guys!